welcome back to the another chapter of my sql series today our topic is loop in sql so it, this is very important to be honest very very important you to understand as a data scientist as a uh, data analyst or as a business analyst you can say your interviewer might can ask you why we use loop in sql or python you can say but today we are going to talk about only the sql why we use loop in sql and what is the use of SQLs? So, for example, I tell you one thing. Uh, I tell you uh, write hello world, print hello world for one time. So, what you will write? You will write like simply write select hello as a message. This is what we do. You execute this hello got printed. Okay. Same thing I tell you print this uh, hello world for two times. So, what you will do? I uh, will print like that two time three time four time whatever you can print what if i tell you to print this hello world for what ten thousand time so it gonna take lot of time am i right so in this scenario we use a loops in simple term we use loops for those kind of condition which get repeated again and again if you want to print something again and again for that case we use a loops okay so there are a three types of loops in SQL, which is first is a simple or basic loop. The another is a while loop and the last is a repeat loop. Okay. So these are the three loops in a SQL. Okay. So we will understand everything step by step with the example. So without any further delay. Let's get started. So first we will understand what is the syntax of loop. If you want to start any loop, what you will do? You will write begin. Then you will write end. And inside this, you will write your loop condition. Whatever condition you want to write, you will write that. But make sure if you writing any loop, you should have a knowledge of store procedure how to create a store procedure because inside the store procedure you have to write your loops without creating any store procedure you cannot write the loop if you don't know how to create a store procedure i have given link in the i button please go and check out that video then understand the loop otherwise you will not understand what is this create and all these things okay okay so we will start with our simple loop okay to create a basic loop what we will do I will simply write as a how we create the our uh, what you call uh, store procedure so you can write daily meter double slash you will write create procedure this time i will give a name like you know simple simple loop and i'm not gonna set any parameter here i will start with the begin in the begin what i will write i will declare the value right like you know declare Count. this is not function this is name i have given you can write x also if you want i i will write here the count the data type we will use an integer and we will set our value as a default zero okay so this is we have declared it now we will start our loop this is our loop name like i write my loop i write here my my loop then i will be given here this is our syntax for creating any loop okay and i will here what i will do we, because we want to set the condition for the hello world like we are gonna print hello world repeatedly right so i will set because here i have declared the count so i will write count is equal to sorry i write wrong count is equal to count plus one why i am using a plus one like if i print hello two times plus one into this it will get executed three times then plus one then plus one like that four plus one five plus one six plus one like that so that is why i have given here i will close this now we will now write our statement whatever statement you have to print it so i'm gonna use here the hello as a message okay so i will write select hello as a message okay we will close this but now what we have to do now if i will end this loop directly right like i will write in loop my loop and delimiter for example i write here uh, i write here in loop 
my loop and what I did here I end this condition I end it I write delimiter and if I will execute this what will happen it will get repeated again and again again and again you cannot stop this even you will shut down your laptop it will get executed in the back end of SQL okay so that is why make sure whenever you are creating any loop you end it that give the end condition like you know if this much time hello get printed stop printing so that's how you have to do it for that you have to give some condition so after giving your statement what you will write you will write if count like count this we have given the name okay count is equal to three then you can write five like how many time you want to print after that stop so if you write five it will stop after five if you write three it will stop after three okay then leave my loop okay and you will stop it uh, sorry uh, write the okay my loop and send column then again you will write end if because this is our if condition we are gonna end and then same thing whatever we have given here okay so that's how we end the loop As now we have declared here we start our loop then we give a statement this is our ending condition and we end it okay now let's execute this okay let me call it now let's test it huh? if i will write call simple loop okay semicolon hit the control enter so can you see here it got executed three times or if you want you can write message in the last after executing you can write completed to write a message what you have to do you have to edit edit this uh, loop let me drop this and then we will edit or we can directly edit also right as I shown in our last class but I will drop first and then we will edit so after ending our loops what you have to do just write here one more command like you know select com completed this is optional okay this is not necessary that is why I didn't show you earlier okay so you if you will write like this what will happen okay let me open my another client uh, then it will be easier you to understand okay Mm. Okay, my script command. Okay, so use batch two. Sorry. Okay, call what was the name? Call simple loop, right? Simple loop. Let's execute this. So, can you see here the hello word get? printed three times and the last is give hours completed oh sorry i write wrong spelling let me correct this okay uh, you can need it also like this also okay let's go back let's print again see now can you see here hello uh, word get printed three times and in the last it give us a message like completed okay so like that you can execute your loop if you want to print five times, you can just change it from your five it will get five uh, printed five times. okay but this is also a little bit headache you know like for example i want to print 10 times so i have to edit and all this thing but what if i want to print i just want to call it like you know call simple loop two and control enter i want it should be printed two times and in the end of it should give us message like you know completed so for that we have to set our parameter to set the parameter what we have to do let me copy paste this first for loop 2 okay in the parameter what we will do i will set parameter as a num and data type we will use an integer num why i am using you can use anything whatever you please as I mentioned in last video also this is our parameter name if you want you can write X okay this time I will keep it X only okay here I have given the in the if condition I have given if count is equal to 3 then end the loop here what I will do I will change this to the X because we have set our parameter am I right then let's execute this this time what will happen Whenever you will call this loop, 
call simple loop this and the inside you will write two what will happen it will get executed two time one two and like you write here uh, call simple loop two and inside that you write a phi type and you, if you hit control enter or enter it will get executed one two three four and five time in the last it's giving a your message as a completed but what if you know you write ten thousand time here like let's not take ten thousand let's take hundred time and you hit the enter so it is get uh, executed 100 times but it is very difficult to uh, read right 1 2 3 4 5 6 that it is correct or not right so in this scenario what we will do this set from here i will write our concat inside the concat hello and i will keep a comma and what we have declared here we have declared our count right and in the count after that i will close the bracket and let's execute this now what will happen whenever you will call any procedure let's say i call here a uh, simple loop 2 and i will print this one two time and i will hit the control enter so can you see here it gave us a message hello one hello two and then complete it if you write like you know hello word five time it hit the control enter it will print hello word for five time one time two time three time four time five time and complete it even like that you can print it okay so this is the easier way okay so that's how we write our simple loop now let's understand while loop how same thing we will write using a while loop then it will so it will clear your concept that what is great for you like uh, you have to use a simple loop you have to use a while loop or repeat loop okay to write a while loop what we did until here we will keep it same until here we will keep it same okay for the each loop we keep same okay this time i will give procedure name as a while loop okay then this is also let's keep same but after my loop before we write only loop okay this time what i will do i will write while count this is the name you can choose uh, is lesser than x this is our uh, what you call parameter we have given right less than x then do what do you will do this is our syntax while and do inside that we have given our condition okay do my loop Oh, sorry uh, select then set count is equal to count plus one semicolon in while loop my loop and select completed it is a message okay and we will end our loop okay so as you can see here if you will now if you will call like you know why is getting zero one oh okay okay sorry i did mistake here okay this should be before our select command let's go back here we can edit from here also okay like uh, okay apply if you will call call while loop two times what will happen it will get executed like hello one hello two and in the last it will give you that uh, completed as a message okay so like that you can create your while loop okay let's understand how to create a repeat loop until here it will be the same okay in the last here what we will do now we will write my loop okay then we will write our repeat because we are gonna use a repeat loop we will use a repeat 
and then we will write our select command okay so before the select command we have to write set so this always will be a before our what you call select command okay i write here double select command okay then we will write our actual command but we have to dip like we have to print a hello world right so we will write our command like this then after writing our command we will write in the repeat loop until count is equal to x this is our parameter okay then end the repeat my loop and select hello as a sorry uh, completed as a message and end our loop so that's how we write our end loop oh sorry oh sorry 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 i forgot to change the procedure name so we will write our procedure name repeat loop okay let's execute this okay now if you will call repeat loop and two time hit the control enter so it will get executed one two and in the last completed now you see this is how we create our loop so now you have to decide which is good for you i personally like the while loop because here we don't have to give a lot of condition and like anything in the simple loop is also good but we have to use a if condition sometimes we have to use nested if, if there is a lot of uh, conditions and uh, parameters so i personally like the while loop very simple while count is less than this much or our parameter set the count is equal to count or whatever you can give name is equal to the plus one like that so that's why i like the while loop but uh, now you have to figure it out which is work for you so that uh, like that you can decide it okay so that's it for today till then happy learning keep supporting and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much